Channel Hack, and I got another Cinema 4D quick tip for you on how to build assets using body paint for video games, and it's going to be pretty awesome. So um, projection and projecting textures can get a little bit sloppy, and sometimes you just want to project onto certain sets of polygons. Well, I'm going to show you a quick technique so that you can do that, so you don't have to spend a whole lot of time erasing around the polygons you wanted to, but in fact, set yourself up so that the selections are based completely on the polygon shape. So enjoy. So let's assume that we have this bookcase that we actually have available in our file base at gdhq.com. What we want to do is we want to add in all the book information. And, you know, we don't want to model every single book. We just want to use textures. That's all we really want to do. So um, in this instance, I went and go ahead went ahead and grabbed a texture right here. And I just did a right click copy image. And I'm going to go to my, what is this? This is the front view. And from here, I'm just going to make sure I have my 3D mode turned on. And I'm going to turn on projection. Uh, let me make sure I'm on my own individual layer. So let's turn this off and create a new layer. So it goes on the projection. Projection mode, I go to this part and I hit paste. And right now you can see that I have this image projected onto this 3D object. So I'm just going to grab those edges and kind of resize this stuff. So I end up getting this right over here. And I like this right here. I think this is a nice setup. It looks good. So I just double click on it. Now I want you to see some things over here on this UV map site. You see this stretching? This is actually, and if I go to my real view, if I turn this sideways, it's taking those pixels and it's just blending that one pixel across the projection. It is assuming that you know what you're doing um, and it's just blending all that stuff over there. Now, here's what you could do is you can go ahead now and go to your eraser tool and start erasing all this stuff by hand. But you know, you start running into an issue where as you're erasing, you could potentially be erasing things over here as well. And, and you don't want that. You wanna make sure that all this stuff stays clean and, and usable like in this front area. We might wanna do this, but as we're erasing this area, we may creep into this. So how do we get it so that we make sure that these parts stay golden, like right here? I like these bookcases. I like these shelves and you know, let's say um, I like, I don't know, this area right here. So these are the polygons that I wanna make sure I keep and I wanna mask everything else. So how do I do this? Very cool, easy way to do it. You go from your polygon mode to your UV selection mode. You notice how your UVs are still selected over on this side, right? So then all you have to do at this point is go up to texture selection and go down to create mask from selection. Click on that button, check it out. All the selections that we had are now selected right here. So now that you got your selection masks on there, your selection mats, how do we access this? Very simple, just go on over to your selection tool right here and we still have our selections available. And then we go to texture selection and we could do an invert all and then we can just do an edit cut. And you see that all the stuff that we didn't want is now gone. It's all cleaned up. Now, what happens if you want to do this non-destructively? Well, that's very easy. All you have to do is make sure that your selections are attached to the things that you want to keep and then just hit this mask button right here. This will add a layer mask onto it. And if you don't see it immediately, click off on it and then click back on. And then your mask should take effect. So that was a quick way to show you guys how to select polygons and then apply a matte selection onto those polygons so that you can either mask or manually erase things out that um, you don't want to keep in your scene. So for everything else that you want to learn about video game development, asset development, art development in the video game pipeline, go on over to GDHQ, check out our file base, check out our tutorials, check out our plugins, check out everything else out there. This is Al Heck and I am out of here. Thank you so much for sticking around.